God bless you, everybody. Um, so today I had a really um, beautiful dream. But um, the funny thing is, is that I'm not going to tell too much of the dream. Um, but instead, I'm going to focus on um, the real life circumstance that I had in order to interpret um, what God is saying. Um, all you need to know about the dream that I had is that basically um, the focus was um, these heirloom seeds, heirloom seeds was the focus, meaning that the seeds had been in um, the family line, in, in someone's family line for quite some time, and they were just passed down, you know. So, but after I had that dream, the Lord reminded me of, a real life situation that happened to me when I was in, when I was about seven or eight years old. Um, what happened was, is that my mom, she would, we, you know, we lived in a country, so we didn't have, um, uh, like a garbage disposal. So whatever, you know, scraps and things that she had, she would take it and she would dump it at the edge of our lawn, our lawn into the woods, just, you know, put it in the woods um, that way, you know, it wouldn't stink up the, the trash or whatever. So she would just throw it in the woods and it would have, you know, like apple cores and, you know, just scraps and things that, you know, people don't eat, the leftovers or whatever that people don't eat. And one day I recall, one spring I recall seeing a, a tree and it had you know flowers and things on it but you know being the child that i was i knew every type of tree not by name or anything like that but i was familiar with with nature and plants even back then and i remember asking my mom i said well you know what kind of tree is this i you know i've never seen a tree like this with the, those type of flowers on it and she said she didn't know so all right, so I kind of put the, the tree in the back of my mind. And then when the um, summertime came around, it began to grow fruit. And I said, Mom, what kind of fruit is that on the tree? And um, she's like, I don't know. And then, you know, we looked closer. It was, it was green fruit. But then when we looked closer, it was in the shape of lemons. And I said, and we both were like, this is, this is a lemon tree. How can a lemon tree be growing in the Northeast? How can, a, <laughs> how can it be growing in the Northeast? I was so excited about this daggone tree because it, it, it was just an anomaly. It's not supposed to grow in the Northeast. And no one planted it. How did it just grow up here in the Northeast? And, um... You know, one could surmise that, okay, well, my mom used to make fresh lemonade for my dad every weekend. She still do. But she used to make fresh lemonade. And so, you know, when the lemonade was all gone and, and all you had was the scraps of the lemons, you know, she would just dump it out there with the rest of the, the scraps. And so evidently a lemon tree, a lemon seed must have germinated and grew. But what is more shocking to me is that we, like I said, we're... We're in the Northeast, so a tree, a lemon tree, is not supposed to be able to, to grow, or let alone, let alone um, survive for as many years as it did. Because in order for it to bear fruit, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're from Florida, but in order for it to grow fruit, it would have had to survive through multiple winters, like maybe like five or seven year, uh winters. In order for it to become mature and and to the point where it would grow fruit so um this was just shocking to me but i say all that to say without any human intervention or anything like that it just sprouted grew and it was to the point where it was able to uh, produce actual lemons now um just fyi i've looked for that tree the following year and it did not it did not come back um the following year it, it for whatever reason it did not survive the winter um 
but this is this is in the natural. I'm looking in the natural sense, but what is what does this mean in the spiritual? Why is God bringing this memory back to me? So what God is saying is that some of you have been thrown out like scraps. Some of you have been thrown out like garbage, like trash, placed in places where you thought, you know, I, this is not where I'm supposed to be, but just placed in places where it, it, it's not, it, it's not conducive for your, for your, um, for you to flourish. It's not, um, it's not a place that you would think that you would thrive. And God is saying, although it seems like the circumstances have a hold of you, it seems like the world has taken, taken you and just thrown you out and put you where really nearly wherever they wanted to put you. God is saying, no, that, you know, without human intervention, without the favor of man, that you will flourish, that you will grow and that you don't need, um, man to come and, 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 and fertilize you and, and come around and, and, um, do some type of invention to, to, to make you more susceptible to grow to, um, like for the lemon tree, I would think that I would have needed to be out there and try to come up with something to to warm it up through the winter to make sure that it made it through the winter. But God is saying that even though you're in a harsh environment, that you're in a, a harsh situation, that you are a planting of the Lord, that you are going to bear fruit, that even though things are are not um, in the right, uh, the ideal conditions, that you are going to grow, that you are going to bear fruit, that you're going to be the planting of the of the Lord that Isaiah 61 speaks about and um, that you're going to flourish. And a lot of times, even in this time, even in this day and time, we think, what am I going to do now when this when this is not working? Um the the job is laid me off or um resources seem to have dried up god is saying no don't worry about it that you are the planting of the lord and the earth will make um will bring forth seed of herself so basically saying that god has everything that you need in order for you to grow and prosper pros, prosper and what comes to mind is i think of children who have been um adopted where a child may be thinking this is might be a little i might be speaking to somebody literal where you feel like you know not even my mom and dad want wanted me i was just a throwaway and and now I'm I'm put in an, an environment and maybe my adoptive parents love me or they don't love me or maybe I'm in a foster home. I'm not even adopted, but I feel like I was just a throwaway. And God is saying, though, that even though you, that you're in a situation where you didn't have the ideal environment to thrive, that God is saying that if you just trust him, that even though you were planted in, in less than ideal conditions, that you are going to grow and that you are going to flourish and you will bring forth fruit. And even, um, even the fact that it was an actual lemon tree that grew in the Northeast, <laughs> Even the fact that it was an actual lemon tree, like it could have been anything. God could have had orange. Let me saw like let me see an orange tree grow back when I was seven or eight years old, but it was a lemon tree. And so you know, as the saying goes, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So even that in itself is a word. So even though things are are um, bitter, things are um, bitter to the taste, a sour pill to swallow, a bitter pill to swallow. God is saying that it's it's going to be like lemonade to you. It's it's going to be even though that situation was so hard and so bitter, 
and, you know, felt like people treated you like you were trash. They just threw you out. But they didn't know that when they were throwing you out as trash, that wherever you landed, that you was going to grow anyway, that you was going to prosper anyway. And so I just want you to be encouraged um, to let you know. And some of you guys are experiencing this right now. Some of you guys are about this is a, a past word to you because you are, you're already experiencing it. You have been um, uh, rejected, pushed away, thrown away, but yet you're prospering, but yet you're bearing fruit. So, and yet you're being used of God. And so, um, just be encouraged. I love you. I hope this message touched you in some way and encouraged you. So, um, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.